seems like a good day to start a new series. One thing I have to do first. All right, and that was quick. And here's what I did. I had to get the uh, beard trimmed, cut that down, a little more manageable, back to normal. All right, so we're downtown. We're in the alley actually cutting through, cutting through to what they call the Peace Plaza area. But there's a lot of construction going on, so uh, we'll probably just cut straight through. And then I want to go up in a parking ramp to get a bird's eye view. Then behind you can see what they're doing for Peace Plaza. Once they're done with that, we'll take a look through there. In the background, you can see uh, Mayo Clinic. And this is the, pretty much the center of downtown Rochester. All right. That's north, and that's heading south, and that's going to be on uh, Broadway, which is also Highway 63. That just divides the town in half. So this is Broadway, and center this intersection here would be considered the exact center of town broadway divides it in half from east to west and center street divides it in half from north to south there we're looking east uh, if you go this way it's north not a very good angle there but this way is south I live south. I live south, uh, so uh, just off of South Broadway, about four miles that direction. All right. But parking ramp across the way. That parking ramp over there is um, pretty old. It's part of the Kaler. Keeler Grand Hotel. That hotel's been around for about 100 years or more. Um, what they're doing down here is they're taking out this street and just going to make it a walk um, pedestrian street. No more vehicles. Um, Mayo Clinic, you can see, is just over, it's poking its head over the top of the Kaler there. You can probably see the Kaler sign there, unless that sun's in your eyes, sorry. <clears throat> I've been a little bit under the weather lately, so excuse my scratchy voice. But, oh, it's one of the first nice days of the right, summer. So the park that we're heading to is going to be called Central Park, and you can kind of see it off in the distance. Just in front of that Hyatt that they had just put up. Um, one thing about Rochester... Because of the Mayo Clinic, there are about 50 to 60 hotels in town. Right. That's where I was, up on top of there. Over here you can see the Kaler building, and just the corner of Mayo Clinic. And we are heading straight down this way. Alright, my smooth entrance into Central Park. Um, Rochester's first park, and I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough. Well, as time goes on, I'm sure I'll get a little bit better at this, um, but bear with me, might be a lot of editing involved. When it is, uh, when the fountain is on, it's pretty cool. The plaza itself, this plaza area that we're in right now was opened in 2004. Areas where you can just come and eat on your break.
links to small articles that I'm writing for this hometown series. But let's get a little bit closer look at this heritage house. It's the Heritage House Museum. building behind the park is called the Charter House. It's now part of the Mayo Clinic, but uh, back in the day it was a um, retirement home. It still is, but it's more retirement and rehabilitation now for the Mayo Clinic. Take a look at this gazebo quick. 